To episode two of my art process series. In today's episode, I really want to show you the beginning part of this drawing. This is really where I want to put my emphasis. Now you'll see how I start this drawing off. I started off with a grid. Now, if you're into photography, you might have seen the kind of grid that I'm drawing here. It's often called the rule of thirds, but I draw this on my page very loosely. And then I also take that same kind of grid and I draw it on my reference image. Okay, so what this is important for is really two things and that's for planning and placement. All right, planning and placement, very important, um, or at least for me. I mean, if you've ever drawn something and like have it spill over the edge of the page because you just drew a little bit too much to the right or to the left or something like that. Now, what this does is it, it helps me just sort of see where on the page does this fit? How big is the head compared to the rest of the, the body? How, how does it correlate between the two? And so this has been a big help. I think learning about grids actually changed my life. I learned this when I was studying graphic design. It, uh, it actually completely, <laughs> it was a revelation in my life, let me tell you. Uh, so we'll see here, often I, when I when I do a little prep drawing like this, I won't go into too much detail, but with this little pup that was sleeping, just the cutest little Boston Terrier you'll ever meet, I I really wanted to, to get him right. I mean, he's got such a cute factor. I wanted to make sure I, I draw him in a position that's believable. So I was really careful with these lines. Though I didn't go into detail, I still, still wanted to make sure that it looks right. So I've done a basic pencil outline. Normally I'll make this a bit lighter before I start inking, but I really wanted you to see the pencil and to see how I work over it. So I left it the way it was. Uh, so now it's time to, to ink this thing, to grab my fine liner. I love this pen, this thing is amazing. I will say if you're ever gonna do a drawing like this, like what I'm doing and you, you wanna sketch it and then add some ink later to it or watercolor or whatever you wanna do, Please make sure it's a waterproof pen. I have lost a few drawings <laughs> because I made the assumption that the pen is waterproof when really it wasn't. Uh, most fine liners that you'll buy in an art store will be waterproof, but um, your standard average one that you bought at a, you know, your supermarket or a stationery store is not necessarily. So you might just want to do a little test and check that before you get too committed. <laughs> Uh, now you'll see also, I don't, I'm not staying within my pencil line because often after you've done the pencil drawing, you can realize, oh, you know, that ear is a bit too big. I think I maybe need to bring it down a bit or, you know, maybe the, with the body curving a specific way doesn't work. And I mean, you don't have to finick around too much in pencil. Go over with your pen and you fix that. Now I will give you a disclaimer and say that I wasn't super happy with this drawing at the end. I mean, I'm, you know, it's a decent thing, it, it's not horrible, um, but I wasn't super happy with it and it's, <laughs> um, it, it sort of made me think while I was working on it, am I even going to post this video, am I, why am I doing this still, I should probably just stop recording, but it made me realize that like, this kind of thing is so important. It's so important to, to do stuff, to look back and be like, okay, if I'm not really 100% happy with it, why is that? And the only reason here that distracts me is this toy <laughs> that was sleeping with the dog. I, I should have spent a bit more time on it, but I was kind of like, I really just want to draw the dog. I'm not really keen on, on drawing the toy as much, but you know, he was sleeping with it. So what can I do? So that's, that's what I really took away from this is I really should have just invested a bit more time in drawing the toy. But that being said, you know, I was still excited to do it. I was still happy with it in the end. You can't get them all perfect, but it's still good to try. Uh, so this is just the part where I start to ink. Literally just got a little palette that I've got dedicated to be my ink palette. A uh, little bit of water, a little bit of acrylic ink, and you're ready to be on your way. 
Now, I'm going to leave you in peace while you watch the rest of this video without me jabbering in the background. So thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please remember to give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more from me, you can just hit the subscribe button and uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I would love to hear from you and I'd love to learn from you. Anyways, that's me. Remember, keep it creative.